Serve. Steph Curry is in Paris looking for gold and thinking about the possibility of leaving Golden State. Sat down with Mark Spears and of Anscape and said this about his future. If it is a situation where you're a bottom feeder and it's just because you want to stay there with the same team your entire career, I'd have a hard time with that, but I don't think that's going to be the reality. So, Nick, is this the beginning of the end for Steph and Golden State? Well, I don't listen. I don't know if the end is coming for Steph and Golden State, but if it is, the beginning was them letting Clay leave. Mm -hmm. This wouldn't be the beginning, and this is the second time now this summer Steph has alluded to this. And in this same article, at the beginning of this answer, to me, there's a bit a very alarming few words, and I'm going to show you what he said at the beginning of the question when he was asked basically about his future in Golden State. If we can show that hubs. Uh, it's tough, right, to answer the question. I've always said I want to be a warrior for life. At this stage of my career, I feel like that's possible. That's a wild change mm -hmm. where he is now saying, yeah, it's, I, feel like, I feel like it's possible that I'm here forever. And by the way, none of this is a criticism of Steph. This is, he is too good to spend three, four years not competing for anything. And so I do think this year, Greg, is wildly important for Golden State in regards to their future with Steph Curry. Whether that means getting Laurie Markin in or whether it just means, I mean, since Kevin Durant left, they won a title, which is re nice. remarkable. And then the other four years, they missed the playoffs three times yep. and won a playoff series one time. Like, he's not going to spend the, the last three or four Mays and Junes of his career not playing basketball. I, don't, I, I personally do not believe that. Yeah, and you, you know why? Because when you've always won, like as a player that can compete at a high level and regarded as one of the best to do it and, and who transcended the game, you, all you know is – I got a shot every time I step on the floor. And when you go from uh, that feeling to now every day, it is hard to come to work because you really, in your heart of hearts, don't believe you have a shot, not because of yourself, but just because the, the odds are just stacked against you, which they are in the West when, with this roster that he has on, on his team. Like, it's, it's hard to get up and go to work every day and feel the same way about something that I love to do. Like, when I went from Green Bay to Minnesota, then to the Dolphins, like, every little step drastically impacted me, not, not physically, mentally, because I, went, I moved further and further away from being competitive as a team, having an opportunity to, to win. And so what Steph is ba basically saying to his organization is, Things need to change. They have to yeah. change. If you if you weren't going to keep Clay, where I can, you know what? We can ride off into the sunset together. Correct. If, if that's the case, mm -hmm. we could have rolled off into the sunset together. But if you're just going to leave me out on this if island let by Clay myself, leave, it's going. It better not be to save money. It no better question. be to make us better, to help us win games. So do you think he's going all in for Lori Martin? You think this is all a Lori Markin oh, thing? I don't think it's all a Lori Markin thing. I think it is a. It, it partially Laurie Markkinen, partially also preparing the organization and the fan base that this might not last forever, guys. I, Draymond, I, Draymond was on uh, a pod, not his pod. I saw it on Twitter right before the show, or, or else we would have pulled it. Uh, and I wish I could give credit for whose pod it is. It's one of I, it might have been Jeff Teague's. I'm not sure. Mm. Uh, apologies for not being able to give credit. Where Draymond's like the organization told me about a trade that they could make, and it would have been really good for me right now. But I told them not to make it because it's a bad trade for the organization long term. What? And it was it was a weird it was a weird statement. But regardless, that is what he said definitively, okay. and. I'm here to tell you that whatever trade that was, if that is a correct analysis of it, good for right now, bad for long term, Golden State make that trade. You owe it to Steph Curry. That's right. <laughs> you have one of the greatest players of all time who's still great. And, Wilds, this is what I want to throw to you. Because Steph's got two years left. 
Draymond's got two years left on on their contracts. Kerr's got two years left on their contract. So a year from now is kind of decision time, Mm -hmm. at least approaching it. Um, I think it is bad for Steph's future in Golden State if he continues to be a top 10 level player. What? Because, because because so this is what I'm saying. If Steph declined significantly, if this year it's like because by the way, guys, 36 years old, not named LeBron James, who have mm-hmm. averaged 20 plus points. You can name you, it's like three guys ever, including LeBron, I should say. Guys that have been All NBA caliber, 36 or older. I think it's Carl, Kareem, LeBron. That's it. Um, if Steph declines significantly, then I think it's easier for him to be like, you know what, let's finish where I started. But if he is still awesome and the team is Mm -hmm. the 11 seed, then I think it's harder for him to accept. If he is still championship caliber, I follow. you know what I mean? Then he wants to compete for championships. If all of a sudden he has the worst season of his career by far, then I don't think he necessarily wants to leave and go somewhere else and not be great. But if he's still great and the team isn't, to me that would make him more antsy to try to go play in big time playoff games if no you question. can't do it in gold. Because State. again, he would feel like I still have so yes. much value. I have so much left in the tank. And that the competitor in you would feel like you're wasting my time. And no one, I don't care what environment you're in, when you provide something and you feel like it's not being utilized and maximized, you feel like you're wasting your time. Okay. Well, then, where's he going? Well, I, don't know where, I, don't know, I don't have a good spot for him. That's my problem. Well, right now, I mean, it wouldn't be. No, I mean, I'm saying next year, like, I don't see, I, I have a hard time seeing Steph suiting up in, in another place. I just, it's very, it's Steph more than anybody is very Kobe-esque in my mind of I associate him with one team and I see it kind of being re- retiring with one team step out and drop the mic and be done. But by the way, Kobe, it should be noted, wanted to leave the Lakers he twice yeah. and tried to leave once was significantly and because why? They weren't competing for championships. You know what I mean? Then they went and got Powell and that was yep. they, they go to three straight finals. I'm I thought you were gonna take this somewhere else, which is I can't tell you the place but we both have discussed the teammate. Yeah, but I don't know where they go. It's like, it's still, I'm like, I, the idea the final that LeBron chapter and of Steph, Steph and LeBron playing together after being together on the Olympic team. Really? Seems, feels, uh, not even to win a championship, necessarily. No, because but, at that run. point, we're talking about LeBron at 41 and Steph at 38. But as a, listen, if, if the Lakers and the Warriors right now are what, the projected I think seventh and eighth teams in the West. None of us would be shocked if they're playing each other in the play-in again. It's like, man, we can be mediocre, you know, anywhere. I so I don't I I don't know the answer to that question. I don't have the team either. A lot of people, myself included, have said if he went anywhere, it'd be Charlotte because that's where he's from and that you know his dad's legacy there and whatever. I just know this: players who are still great in the NBA are not used to not playing deep into the postseason. No question. Yeah. It, it's not, you know, it, so many teams make it, you're supposed to be able to do it. So, I, And I think Steph is realizing, I don't know how many more deep playoff runs this, this core has in it or if there's going to be any more. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're talking about Lamar and the possibility.